Hey, what's up, coach? My name is Ben Neighbors, and welcome back to the Six Figure Trainer Podcast. Today, I'm going to share some lessons with you and hopefully some insight that's going to help you in the future with your training business. And this is for you so you know how to better respond when you go through a down month or down months in your business. So you're going to get the most out of this if you have a pen and piece of paper. And at the end of the day, you can watch and listen to this information and say, man, that's a good idea. I should start doing that. And it can just be this idea, or you can just execute what we talk about today, because that's going to be the thing that actually helps you. Don't take this in as an idea, actually execute what I talk about. Some of the top training businesses in the United States that I work with, the business owners, the CEOs that I work with directly, they're doing exactly what I'm about to show you. And I also do this in my business. This has been something I've been doing for a while. And I know this is going to straight up help you. All right. It's going to be very valuable. So pen, piece of paper, take notes, execute. All right. Let's go. Today's episode is sponsored by MakeMoneyCoachingSports.com. Simply head over to MakeMoneyCoachingSports.com right now and access my free webinar where we break down exactly how to grow your company to six figures and beyond. Now, there's three things that we want to pay attention to today. All right. Number one. Your business is going to have down months, no matter how great you are at business, no matter how great your systems are, no matter how great you are at advertising, it doesn't matter. There's going to be some months that are down. There's going to be some months that are up. And the goal of your business is like you should be in an upward trajectory, right? Shouldn't be going like this every month. We should be going like this, all right? But with this, there's going to be ups and downs. And some of those down months, there's things that happen that are out of your control. And some of these down months, there's a lot that is in your control. And we want to talk about both scenarios. All right. So first, like I just said, there's going to be ups and downs. You can't ignore that. You can't hide from that. That is part of having a business. Having a business is really stressful. It's not for everyone. Most people are not cut out for it, even, they, even though they think they are. So we have to just make it very clear. Number one, you're gonna have ups and downs. It's gonna happen. You can't hide from it. It's here to stay. And what we need to do, and this is part of number one that I want you to write down. It is prevent the preventables and respond to the uncontrollables all right so prevent the preventables respond to the uncontrollables and let me explain what that means so if we're going to prevent the preventables these are things that you know you should be doing but you're not doing so like if your clients aren't on a contract and you know you should be doing that well you can prevent next month from being bad by just getting your clients on a contract uh, if you're getting cash at your sessions and you know that you've lost money last month, well, like we can prevent that next month by just switching over to a new payment system. So if you know you can prevent certain things from happening next month, well, why not just change those now? Because like if you can do that, you're automatically going to see a difference in your business. All right. So that's part of that. All right. So prevent the preventables. <laughs> Make changes when you know they're right in front of you. If you can sniff it, if it's there, don't hide from it. Make the changes, all right? And when I said respond to the uncontrollables, that means that when something weird happens in your business, like let's say it's Monday, you wake up and you get a text from a client that is like, hey, uh, we're not gonna train with you next month. This just popped up or Johnny's schedule got too busy. We can't meet with you next month. Um, and they're part of a contract or they're not a part of a contract, like regardless of the situation. If you just delay in your response, if you don't come back with a plan, if you don't come back with leadership to that text or, or to get on a phone call and show that you are the lead of your business, then you're not going to be able to respond the way that you should. And instead of responding, you become in react mode. And business is really difficult when you're reacting to everything. And this is a problem that a lot of coaches have. When something bad happens, they just get so emotional and they react negative. And when they react negative, 
it's going to stem into the rest of the week. It's going to stem into the rest of the month, and it could even stem into the rest of the year, unfortunately. So we don't want to react. We want to respond. And as the leader, if you are the, the CEO of your business, even if you have a small business, even if you have 10 clients, I don't care. You need to come in with a plan. When bad things happen, you come back in with a plan and you respond. We're never going to just react. And when you respond, it shows that you're the leader, right? So prevent the preventables, respond from the uncontrollables because there are certain things that will happen in your business you can't control. And when we respond, well, guess what? Now when that thing happens again, it's so much easier to deal with it because all right, you, you took that response and now you embed that in your business where it can't happen again, all right? Really important. So that's how we want to deal with things. And as a business owner, I mean, honestly, there's, there's, it's a really bad look for you if you get really emotional when bad things happen. Like people around you in your inner circle will see it. You're gonna to look too stressed out. You're gonna to be too stressed out and your clients will feel that. You don't want your clients to know what's going on in your business. You don't want them to feel your stress. When they come into your facility or they come into your training session, they should be feeling joy. They should be feeling like, wow, I'm so happy to be here. All right, if you have a bad day and you're, you're reacting to everything, clients are gonna feel that. And long-term, they're not gonna to wanna to be with you. That's just how life is, all right? So that's number one. Hope you have that down. Number two, we need to ask yourself why, all right? And the way I like to do this is the very last day of the month, I log into my business checking account and I look, okay, how much money was earned this month? How much money was made this month compared to last month? How much money was made this month compared to uh, this month last year? And I like to ask myself those questions. And then I like to ask myself, why? Why did certain things happen this month? All right, so example, like how many leads did I have? How many calls did I have? How many calls converted into clients? Like, what was I doing to market myself this month? Did, was I slacking on that? Did I do a good job? So if you have your metrics right in front of you, it's inexcusable, but like, you should know exactly why certain things happen. So next month we can go in with a better plan. So if we weren't marketing hard this month, well, next month I better step it up. If I was marketing hard this month, but I wasn't converting on my sales calls, well, what can I do different on my sales calls next month? So these are questions you have to know about yourself, about your business. If you don't, you will just have these months that are just so inconsistent and we want to build consistency in your business. We don't want to have just this roller coaster of crazy events that happen throughout the year. All right. So ask yourself why look at, look at your money situation, see how many leads are coming in. All right. I'm pretty sure you get the gist. All right. The third thing that we want you to do is very simple. All right. And this is going to be probably an uncomfortable thing for you to do. Cause I can assure you've probably never done this. All right. But Example, this is my phone right here. This literally doesn't do anything other than call people and text people. All right, so you probably have an iPhone or Android, whatever you have, it doesn't matter. All right, what I want you to do is at the end of the month, after you go check your bank statement and you see how much money came in or how much money didn't come in this month, I want you to take your phone, turn it off, all right? No one gets to access you for 30 minutes and I want you to go stand in front of the mirror. And I want you to ask yourself, honestly, ask yourself, did I give it my all this month? And anybody can ask themselves that, all right? You have to be truthful though, and truthful with your response. You'd be like, yeah, like I went all out this month. Like I was five out of five focused. I was like marketing really hard. I was paying attention to all the metrics in my business. I did a great job at my sessions. I was really disciplined and focused. Like you will know if you gave it your all or not. So that's a, a gut check question, all right? You'll know, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. So if you get back to the mirror once a month and you realize, no, I'm not giving my all, then that to me is an effort issue. I can't deal with your effort issue for you. 
you have to be able to deal with that. And it's a great question to ask yourself though, because you'll know, no matter how your business is going, you're, you'll know what your effort's like. And that is something you can control. You have immediate control over your effort uh, within your business. And that is something you have to ask yourself at the end of the month, no matter how good or how bad your, your month went. And everything I'm talking about, is going to apply to you no matter if you had a great month or if you had a down month, all right? So I hope these three things helped you, all right? So watch this video back if you need to. If you have any questions for me and you wanna scale your business up, you want more strategies to grow and scale and get to the next level, um, you wanna tighten up your systems, you wanna have a better sales process, you want high ticket clients, reach out to me. Um, there's multiple ways, just go in the link in the description, you'll see my phone number there if you wanna to get to me. And uh, that's the first point of contact. I can't wait to chat with you. Talk to you soon.